An important weekend for the faithful. Holy Week culminating in global observances of Passover and Good Friday today. Passover beginning at sundown tonight and ending at sundown on April 7th. Sunday bringing Easter for Christians. President Trump and Melania to spend Easter at his Mar-a-Lago property with family. Melania Trump making a surprise visit to Florida Hospital to celebrate Easter today. New Life Harvest Church Bishop Leon Benjamin joins me now. Uh, Bishop, I, I want to ask you, my father is, is a minister, was at the Malakoff Church of Christ. He's 86 years old. He just retired within the last year. But Easter, it was always the, the biggest audience you have. You have a lot of guys who are checking the box, but they're there for, for Easter service. So you're going to have your biggest crowd on Sunday. This is your chance. What are you going to tell your parishioners? Uh, God bless you, John. Thanks for having me here. Look, the, the biggest uh, story or the best story that we could ever tell uh, not only our parishioners, but the whole wide world, is that Jesus paid the price for the sins of the whole world. Uh, no one else was worthy. No one else was qualified. And it was only through his vicarious death on the cross and through his shed blood that we have a right to eternal life. And that's the, not just for the, the church. It's for the whole world and those that receive him uh, and receive him as Lord and Savior, they have now the gift of God, which is eternal life. Mr. Bishop, uh, according to the Bible, when there's just one family on earth, one killed another, and we've been fighting each other ever since. We've been fighting over religion. We've been fighting over political aims. Are we ever going to get this right? Well, the, the Bible tells us uh, that uh, man uh, is despicably wicked, his heart, and who can know it? So it, it, it took the price that Jesus uh, paid on the cross to bring what is called reconciliation. And so we, we now have, the church has that ministry of reconciliation through God uh, in Christ. And so it is going uh, to work out in the end. And that's the, the job, of course, of every, what, evangelist, every pastor, uh, every child of God, every saint, to get the message of the good news out that God is no longer angry uh, God has sufficed his, his wrath through his son, Jesus Christ. And, and that's the justice of God uh, that we celebrate on, on Easter Sunday. But uh, Friday, of course, is a very solemn day where we look at the price that had to be paid. And when you talk about fighting and, 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 and all the wars going on, uh, the cross is the solution. Uh, at the cross, we sing that old song, you know, uh, people need to see it. And that's what I'm hoping today. Uh, people's eyes will be open to the cross of Christ so that uh, any antagonism or fear, or intimidation or, or anything that comes against our peace, uh, we have a solution. What about our nation? We come together with less divisiveness. We're so divided over everything. Uh, is that not the answer that we come together and at least agree that we have one common goal in this world? We don't have a few seconds left, sir. Yeah, you know, we're, we're all under, under, under God, one human, one human, one human race, not black, white, wet, yellow, brown, red or yellow, uh, one human race, and we can come together through Jesus. He gave us the solution, and uh, that's what the death is about. Good. I, thank you, sir, for your, uh, your time, and good luck on Sunday. I have a feeling that your parishioners are going to be very happy they came to your service, sir. Oh, for yes. God bless you.